so welcome back and immediately we are going to clear this area completely which is completely unnecessary because as far as I know nothing that good is here but just for completion sakes I actually want to show you that there's nothing important here so you don't waste too much of your time with these goddamn golems because they are rather annoying to kill and especially for me because they are resistant to sorceries so anyway uh, stagger I guess you don't get staggered then fine and another slab and another slab and with that now this is free some blue titanium chunk which can actually be it's a gold one there? huh I wonder if I, I've not seen that a lot there so I wonder if that always spawns or if that's rare or something Anyway, I'm just going to soul spear these fuckers then. Because uh, I'm probably going to die with. Well, when I'm fighting. How, 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 how I fucked up big time, boys! And they are strong. They are their strong. Hopefully, they are dumb though. And yes, they are. They give me enough chances to heal. So, well done! So, that's how much my soul spear does. And this is the crystal soul spear. So, yeah, that's quite the improvement, isn't it? Also, it. It pierces. I didn't even know it pierces, but I guess the regular uh, stuff pierces as well, so why wouldn't this one? That is rather good. So apparently when using the soul spear, which I didn't even know about, you should aim for the back line and put the other the front line in front of the back line. So now uh, hello there. This guy is a tough motherfucker, isn't he? Jesus. Yeah, I'm I probably should be using sorcerers against him because he's... Oh, Dark Beat, of course. How oh, he did not get staggered that time, so that's great. But thankfully, he used an ability that I can easily dodge. Dark Bead. Easier to, easy to dodge ability, Dark Bead. And he is fucking dead. Oh! Oh, there you are! Oh no, you're. Oh. Okay, I didn't. I was wondering where she bumped into you first. Uh, anyway, this is Ziegmeier's daughter, or sister, I think daughter. And she's here to follow in her father's footsteps. Yes. So yeah. I never actually found her here before because probably I killed. I went in a different order order to my usual. So, most of the time she hasn't shown up, but that means hopefully I've not... Yeah, I think I've not fucked up everything, anything yet. Because uh, I don't think uh, it is necessary to immediately go and save him where he needs to be saved next. Because, I mean, he's Zygmire, of course you need to save him somewhere. The fool. I mean, he's, I fucking love him, but he's a fool. And Dark Bead. And Dark Bead again. You probably don't want to use all of your things up here, but you should probably not clear most of this up here unless you actually want the uh, stuff. Uh, like the blue titanite! Shh, fuck! Death, death, death to you! Oh. Nah, it, Jesus Christ, I'm getting a lot of blue titanite chunks. I actually have a use, I will probably have a use for those. Because I have a pla There's another guy back there? Who I missed. Oh well. Uh, so there, I do actually have a plan for those because um, you might remember that I didn't fight the main boss of the DLC. Jesus Christ, the lag! The lag is real. I'm sorry. Crystalline helm and stuff that is actually rather powerful if you get it early and don't want to go with the Havel route. But it it can be repaired, but it's incredibly 
incredibly costly to repair it but it probably doesn't matter if you have the repair enchantment although I don't know if it's actually it actually works but it might you know further mutations are required to see if it does though Alright, some more blue that So basically my idea is that uh, if I can't kill it with a heavy weapon, the boss of the DLC, then I'm going to completely enchant an uh, Uchigatana to max and use that instead. Because that's that weapon is a lot faster than uh, this of course, so it's a lot probably a lot easier to get hits in into manas. Ow. Or not? Uh, I mean, I have not fought him for that long yet because uh, last time I just rage kid because his fucking kid seemed unkillable for the like the first two times I fought him, uh, and that's all I fought him because I didn't feel like wasting my life away there. But unfortunately, I will have to kill him in one way or another. Thankfully, there's a complete there's a way to completely cheese him if I so feel like it. So, if everything goes horribly, then I, I'm, I guess I can show off the way to cheese him. But hopefully, really got them hopefully, I will be able to actually kill him. You are really, really, really terrible at aiming, aren't you? Although I guess we are fighting on an incline, so... Fair enough. So, now we have killed all of these. You didn't have to kill ev any, any one of them, but uh, I actually wanted to get some stuff and just clear the entire area just to show you what's here. And if you want, you can just rush through and get everything and then rush back out. And the, down here is where you actually need to go. And you can run past this guy, hold up a shield while doing so, by the way, it's important. Uh, and just rush through, 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 through. Over here is the first Thing you'll get first place you'll see that there are invisible hallways which is awful there's a moonlight butterfly you don't want to fuck with those unless you want to get sorcery to death it's very uh, rare that you actually have be able to kill those things unless you have sorceries so I would highly recommend not fucking with them and here you hope what for well that this fucker slips off the edge because if he does not, then you're fucked. And you get knocked off the edge. Hopefully he jumps after you. And he did not, so that's unfortunate. You're probably going to die a couple of times there, but these things don't respawn. So after you made it fall off the edge one time, it's enough. You can, of course, fight it legitimately as well, but I fucking hate them. And I, so I deal sorcery damage, so it's a lot weaker. Anyway, meanwhile... Oh, you're... St of course, you have not gone insane just yet. You need a bit more. Maybe after I kill Seath, he goes... He will go insane. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, well. So now that I've shown you how to go through here like an idiot and clear everything, I'm going to show you how to run through here. So, as you can see, everything immediately aggroes to you. And jump. Because these things have an immensely larger roam range. But you can just ignore that and just rush through here. You don't need to fight anything. And you'll need to do this a lot of times. Especially while you're fighting Seath the boy. Also I do not have the ring that removes, that makes you more resistant to curse. But I can just have the blood shield on. Because you won't be blocking any attacks from Seath. It's mainly about dodging. For once, which is rather lovely because you might have been grown tired of me just using shields in every fucking boss fight. Uh, the only one that really challenges you when while you're using a shield is Artorius, and that's probably one of the reasons I love him so much. Anyway, invisible hallway, walkway, I mean, over to here, getting this. Focus on this guy. Hopefully he has less health than the other guy had, but I don't have that many high hopes for this for that. And uh, hopefully he'll just slip off the edge. Very hopefully. If not, then that sucks, but also he's literally really that 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 like that. 
Uh, he, oh no, he's he's actually on an invisible pathway there. That's why he didn't fall off. And the crystal soul mass. And soul spear. And soul spear again. And soul spear again. Soul spear again. And dark bead. And another dark bead. And another dark bead. And another dark bead. And he's dead. And I do think he drops something sometimes. I'm not entirely sure. Watch out because it's slippery. There is something there. Which I actually 100% need to get. But I feel like putting that off for as long a time as possible. So first off, jump down here. And hopefully you'll be able to get all of these in one. If not, then that's unfortunate. And I actually managed to get all three of these in once. And everything is flooded with pop-ups. But you can just do the old login log out in order to get those. Now, crystal saw mass. And we are going to kill this guy as well. And then I'm actually going to go to the pain of going to the, pl to the place where you could see the drop in the distance. Because you fucking need to if you're using a sorcery build like I am. Which is rather unfortunate, but it is nonetheless a thing. This isn't a good thing. But, oh well. <laughs> so now let's just use sorceries. Also, it's even easier to slip off on this in this place than it was beforehand. I what the? F Never mind. Uh, oh well, next time I'm just going to have dark bead, which triggers a lot faster, and he falls off, so I don't even have to do that. That is just lovely. And that is ideally what you want to do, even if you die, there is a large chance that they will just fuck off the ledge because they are dumb as a brick and large as a house. So now that you got everything from there, it's time for pain and fucking misery and John Cena. Uh, because, uh, and also just if you had some souls there, just use a homeward board to get home. I'm not going to because 20 souls is like that important to me anymore. I could just farm that up really god that quickly if I wanted to. Especially if I wanted if I if I especially if I put my mind to it. But uh, anyway we are going to ignore that and instead go through pain and pain and pain and pain and pain in order to get one very specific thing because you might remember might see that it don't, it doesn't actually pop up but I only have a level nine reinforced uh, Zweihander, and you need a titanite slab of various well, size and difference. Like uh, I think there's a there's a white titanite slab that we've got. We got the normal titanite slab, which is the easiest to get because it's in the Asylum Demon. Uh, the stray demon at the end, uh, like the last one we've cleared. There's another one of those, but that's a bit later. Uh, and that guy gave you the titanite slab and. That is rather useful if you are going through the uh, regular reinforcements. If, however, you are not, well, you are in for a lot more of a pain because uh, you might realize you might have said so far. Oh, there hasn't been too much of a dickery with the invisible platforms, especially because you can see that these things are there. And uh, yeah, I guess. Unless you want to farm blue titanite stab, or just get one. <laughs> because fuck you, I, if you answered yes to any of the above statements. Because over here is where you get that. And you might have noticed earlier that there is some uh, good Samaritans who place uh, up here these things. And we are going to be our own good Samaritans. Oh, not, not the wife of the orange one. Our own good Samaritans. Because we are going to be placing these on our own. This will take about roughly as much as Continental Drift to do. Especially if you want to... I'm just going to place whatever the fuck is. I should have placed just here. Make that here command. Alright. Over to here. Uh, here and uh, now over to this way because you might notice that there's some stuff that way as well oh, so let's just check yeah I think I 
think I can go ahead a bit more. Yes. Right now I'm just going to right ahead. Just another one here. And I can go ahead a bit more. This is as tedious as it looks. And the other here. You want to place these because they will stick around for you. And even if you fail a couple of times, you can at least pave the way slowly but fucking steadily for yourself. I am fucking good. Okay. Over here. There is another here. Okay. I think we need to go this way now. Not entirely sure. I don't think we can just rush ahead there. Yeah. I Actually, can we? Oof. Yes, we can. Oh, thank fuck. Oh, thank fuck. Ty blue titanite slab. Mwah! Oh. And now there's literally nothing you can do but teleport back, as far as I know. Which is a bit of a pain, but not as much of a pain as getting through there. And at least it's done. And you never have to fucking do that again, which is rather lovely. Unless you want another blue titan slab on your other playthrough. In which case, good fucking luck, mate. Good, just literally, good luck. I wish you the best. Because I would never fucking do this in the playthrough twice. Oh, oh well. And now, uh, with that concluded, the Crystal Cave concluded, I'm going to show you one more thing, clear the thing, and then end the episode a bit shorter than usual, just so we can uh, get the boss in one, because it's going to be an annoying one. Uh, mostly because I want to get the special sword from it, and less so because the boss is difficult, because he really isn't. Like... Uh, he's slightly di more difficult than Nito, but I don't. Uh, I think. Uh, yeah. You saw nothing. You you did not see anything. None of it. Your eye. It was just a, merely a trick of trick of the light. You did not see shit. Capiche? Okay. I'm just gonna fucking ignore that. And get the fuck down there. Instead. And instead of whining over the fact that I died there like a little fucking bitch, let's just double pace. And hopefully we'll not fail this time. Because there are a couple of more things in the crystal cave that I want to show off before the end of the episode, which is the reason why I haven't ended it. And uh, one of it is the rear guard for your boy uh, Seath, which is a bunch of fucking mollusks, uh, which I don't really understand why they like mollusks so much, but mollusks also like heads, so maybe they cut a deal with Seath to get all the heads. They don't really like giving heads away, so if you want them, f want to farm them for... Uh, Slabs of uh, the thing, uh, corrupted slabs that get rid of uh, cursed, then they're a bit more hesitant because they're bitches. But oh well, we don't really care. I still have the covetous gold serpent ring equipped, so hopefully they'll give it up nonetheless. You can equip the similar hours for that if you want to, but I frankly do not want to take more damage than I already have. There is a guy over there, as you can see, another Moonlight Butterfly, and unfortunately we'll, going, we'll be going really close to him, hopefully not anchoring him, but if we are, then that's too bad. Solo a hero, that is worth it, even if you die, and let's check if he was actually angered. He was! Great! So he's probably going to shoot after you, but nevertheless he'll be fucking worthless. Because he's a fucking failure and his family knows it. So, this area is a bit fiddly because these things like to aggro in the worst ways fucking possible for you. So, first off, the back guy aggroes first out of everyone. And uh, he'll rush at you, and uh, you usually don't can't get close to him until he's next to you because otherwise the other guys will aggro. Also, you 
because of you usually want to just rush through here but I actually want to clear them first time and this time I'm actually going to attack it first so it doesn't get the first swing into me and as you can see purging so and they actually dropped twink twinkling titrites as well that's rather good or it's just that one I'm not sure oh well also you might notice that the back one also aggroed after that so which is lovely uh, it's not going to be enough because they are going to die nevertheless and after that that's two down and this one actually dropped as you can see the thing doesn't actually show if they dropped and uh, so you need to go and check manually which is a bit annoying but oh well they are a good farm for purging stones if you want to make sure and the guy, other guy just noticed, which is a bit, you're a bit late to the party boy, but nevertheless I'll give you some attention and murder the fuck out of you. Now, some more purging stones. They apparently are incredibly generous with their purging stones right now. Now, I'm going to equip, as I said uh, uh, before, blood shield, because uh, this boy can actually curse you. And I don't actually have the cursor yet because I think that's in uh, other space place. Anyway, now that I've equipped a couple of stuff, uh, let's go. Oh no, actually, I'm going to end the episode. I forgot. So bye.